Hello and welcome back to Let's Play King's Blood with me, Bring It Down. Let's try this quest again. We'll bring all of the recommended fighters. Assassin, support, specialist, summoner. And both healers. Even though Lyrica isn't recommended, I think this should be the standard template for any full-blown dungeon. This is pretty good. Let's give that to Thorbin. And then this we can give to Potosius. Twenty four ability power. A nice upgrade for him. Let's give Holdor the 33% block rate. I think I'm going to use him to intercept any enemy assassins that jump on my back line. And since I have a summoner in my party, I'm not going to bring Revive Ally. I don't want that mishap to happen again. And I think a Focus Potion on Garnak would be better. And Big Heals for Glorious and Thorbin. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Send them on their way and we'll grab another quest with another party, even if they don't succeed. We'll just keep throwing bodies at the problem until they eventually do. But where do I want to go next? I guess Wargul. Unknown creatures. Moon Clan is in direct contact with Fondrier's stream. Maintain this contact. The Wargul people cultivate vast fields of mushrooms of all kinds. A flock of critters never before seen in this land has begun eating our mushrooms. Our bond with Fangir, the father of everything, is in danger. Get rid of these creatures. Help us strengthen the bond. Alright, bring our shapeshifter frontline. A couple of summoners, one mate. Well, two mages. Gorla because she's recommended. Serena. And another summoner. I think that looks pretty good. I don't think any of this stuff is an upgrade for anybody. Well, this might be... Maybe on Fenya. It's not too shabby either. But we'll leave it be for now. I increase the crit damage by 20%. I'm sorry, we have a ton of level ups to do, don't we? It does scale with AP, so we'll grab Focus Regeneration, plus that gives him a massive heal. I'll increase his armor. Egosha.
Attack damage, attack speed. We'll work our way towards these two blue nodes. Garnak, one skill point. More armor. Glorious. Focus regen. Venia. Attack speed and attack damage. Jorla. You scale with AP, right? Yeah. Ability power. And ability power. Door. Ability power. Lyrica. Health and armor. Magnus attack damage. And I think that's all the red nodes, right? He doesn't scale with AP at all, so I guess we'll start making him tanky. We'll give him some health here. Rayo. You also don't scale with AP, so... Magic resist and crit damage. Noki. Health, health regen. Orlish, magic resist, and health. Oh, yeah, three points. And I guess ability power. Honestly, I should probably give him more attack speed. They're just stacking health. So right now he has a 10% chance to stun. Uh, Potosius, only one point. We'll give him critical damage. Or he has three, so ability power, armor, and health. Serena, focus regen, and health regen. Thorbin, I should give you more offensive nodes. Attack damage. Darasha. Some armor. And Yasmir. Ability power and evasion rate. Oh, she has another point. I guess more health. I think that's everybody. We can't unlock any new cities, so... I guess we do have enough to send on another mission. I mean, who's left? Oh, this is the next tier quest for a talk, so we're not going to send him over there. I think that's going to be a tougher fight. I feel we draw our powers from the same arcane domain. Tuh, I'm still more powerful than you. Okay, so now we're gonna leap on top of me. I think Ignis and Garnak would pair really well together. Because Garnak will taunt all the enemies to himself, and then Ignis has that AoE fire pillar. Uh, 
Now this is pretty good for Serena. I could give this to Holdor as well. Let's do that. Okay, these level ups real quick. I uh, will give Dorla evasion rate. Just to clear out that corner of the skill tree. An Abrash. Health regen. And I'll pick up all these blue nodes along the top there. And all herbs. Great. Oh, what's going on in Robin Sklau? Hey, Reverend Malesson. Well done. You brought the infestation of these insects under control. But guess what? There's an even bigger plague. I think you can be trusted, so I will tell you. Worse than any insect, Reverend is emptying our corn chambers. You don't have to kill them, but some guards are patrolling between Misselheim and Robin Sklau. Teach them that they have to pay for what they take. We'll grab a couple of fighters, a couple of archers, one shapeshifter, summoners, assassin. And another archer. I give this to Abrash. To get some pretty absurd uh, attack speed, I think that life leech will be better. And the stun rate. We'll load up on fireballs. Not on him. Because you can never have too many fireballs. Oh, a new description. On a low knoll sits an old fortress of granite and mortar. Its corner towers, once occupied with the land's finest sharpshooters, are now home to a flea bitten carry. Do a flea bitten carrion birds? Two flea bitten carrion birds. Massive black iron doors hang loosely on rusted hinges, serve as the last sentinels guarding this place. And they're not doing a great job, you realize, as it's clear from the numerous keep out signs that others have already made their home here. Come on, shrine. Healing fountain. All right, let's go this way. Storm trap. Oh, I don't have any disarm kits. That's okay. We have both healers with us, so we have some decent sustain. Hold over back here to intercept the assassins. Where all that damage is coming from. Right. 
Yeah, it must be there. It's the first time we've seen that ability, I think. They all started dancing before he was dead. Well, dead again. We've seen these descriptions before. Probably because we've been in this dungeon a couple of times before. This party doesn't have the most damage, but they more than make up for it and sustain. It's a battle of attrition. We're definitely going to win it. I could speed up these fights as well, since we were obviously going to win. There's always a chance. Even on this speed, I sometimes miss when someone's quickly being killed. So, I'm not going to take any chances. He ramps up the damage, he gets so many summons out so quickly. And I assume that the summons count towards his damage. Otherwise, that's a little silly. Garnak isn't on the front line. A little unfortunate. He could come back here and fight these guys. Yeah, I'm not going to bother to rescue Thorbin there. I was a little concerned about that. I wasn't sure if two could fit through these chairs, but... It's okay. We know where a healing uh, fountain is at, so we can bring him back without using our own resources. Boris is pretty well specced into damaging nodes, but he just doesn't seem to do a ton of damage. Also seems like his ability misses most of the time. At least he activated it there. I saw 26 damage pop up above this guy's head. 35. Alright, so it is hitting, but like a wet noodle. So Lyrica does seem to pair well with summons since his 
healing ability can hit them as well. It doesn't matter in Zarasha because she heals everybody, but... On Lyrica, it's a little inconvenient. Oh, I didn't realize... No, we do... Yeah, we knew Thorbin went down. I didn't see Potosius go down. You enter what seems to be the treasury. In the midst of all the coins sits an adorned chest. Why would this room be unlocked, you think to yourselves, thinking about your next steps? That's pretty good. Plus 69 health and plus 3 health regen per second. Water trap. Well, we'll just take the hit. Alright, come on, shrine. Uh, may as well. And we'll take this fight next. Tosius already went down. <laughs> Glorious is stuck <laughs> over here. He can't get to anybody. There we go. Now he can bring his mediocre DPS to bear. Right. A lot of summons, they don't do a whole lot though, but they are good at you know blocking folks in and also taking a little bit of aggro. party feels fairly unstoppable. One change I wouldn't mind making, uh, well one we need more damage, I'd probably swap out Brog for Ignis, and probably a Shoga for another mage. Hey, found a shrine! I think it's a new description. At the top of a spiral staircase is a room dominated by a gigantic tapestry hung on an, on an arcanium rod. It depicts a glorious battle, hundreds of knights upon golden horses clashing with demonic beasts. Leading the charge is a crimson-maned woman, plunging a lance into the heart of a gruesome fiend. You know not if she once lived or is only a legend, but the scrawled prayers strewn about that clearly indicate that for some dedicated followers, she's as real as they are. Ooh, 30% attack damage. I didn't realize Holdor went down. And a storm trap. We'll see what this is real quick. Another storm trap. Alright, come on. Treasure. Critical rate plus 18%, critical damage plus 15%, and armor plus 16. A light trap? Jeez Louise. Alright, I want one healing fountain. I should have read that. This is our first light trap? I think we've seen one before. You begin to question everything you know about good and evil as light. Renowned for symbolizing purity and peace, attacks your body with scalding luminosity as you narrowly escape. I 
think this is new as well. A dark chapel is nestled at the end of a long hallway. Smoldering flames and tarnished candelabras throw dancing shadows against the grimy brick. On a small arcanium altar, spot the marble statue of a figure that reads as both masculine and feminine, and yet neither at the same time. Its face is crude, but kind. A 30% armor to the end of the dungeon. Now, these fights are probably unnecessary, especially since we're missing two of our buddies. I want to save all the fireballs for the final fight. See, right here, I think Thorbin could walk all the way around and start attacking the, the guys back here. And that's something that could be optimized. I'm gonna throw a fireball back here and try and hit this mage. Alright, wasn't nearly as much damage as I was hoping for. But we got a couple guys back there. Here's another one of these attacks. So much damage. Alright, mage is finally down. <laughs> the Shogun is not going to die now. Uh, Shogun is putting out decent damage compared to the rest of the party, but this party again doesn't doesn't have a lot of damage. I think that taunt saved Ashoka's life. Rise. I wonder if we get a companion that can resurrect fallen allies at some point. I'm not sure how that would work though, because they want to cast their ability as soon as their focus meter was full. But if no one was dead, I wonder how that would play out. Thorbin taking the lead again. Yeah, Shogun does very consistent damage. Alright, one fight left. You enter a dark chamber and can see a man kneeling in front of an altar and mumbling unintelligible things. To his left and right, countless of skeletons. But what was this? Did one of the dead ones just move? Well, it is a lich, so...
We get that taunt active immediately. Oh, he's taking a ton of damage. What? I may have should have waited to taunt. <laughs> Someone to save Zarasha. Whoops. Got the heal. She's hanging in there. I don't know how much longer, though. There it goes. Currently tanking for us, which is not ideal. Shogu's gonna go down here. It's gonna be down to just the two of them. Hey, the summons did some work there. Nice. We did it! By the skin of our teeth. Ton of level ups in this dungeon, though. That's exciting. Oh, okay. I should probably just grab the red one, right? What do we have here? Stability power plus 83, initial shield plus 113, health regen plus 3 per second, focus damage plus 7. And a spear, attack damage plus 68, critical damage plus 90%, and critical rate plus 47%. I think this would be really good on an archer. And a cape, a magic resist plus 51, initial shield plus 93, and attack evasion plus 17%. Let's go with this. I think my archers are lacking some equipment. I maxed out their reputation with Sanctum of Hope. And we got 50 herbs from the faction. Alright, so that's three cities maxed out. Uh, Dare Delore, Samsian, and Sanctum of Hope are now complete. Let's do another quest for Mieselheim. We've read this, right? Didn't we try this and we failed? Preemptive strike. Well, you know what? I'm gonna call it here, and next time, depending on which quest spawn, we might do the quest for Mieselheim. And level up everybody. I think almost everyone should have multiple skill points to allocate, so we'll deal with that next time. But for now, thanks for watching. I hope to see you guys in the next one.